Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something uh, not different really. We're going to be hunting, but we're going to be hunting with pretty much exactly the amount of PED I'll be making each week once I've got the 100 P, like the 100 Arcadia Underground deeds, which will probably happen in a couple of weeks. So I want to see exactly what sort of hunting I'll be able to do with 7 PED, okay? That's what I want to see. So we're going to just use our Barbarella, and we're going to get 7 PED worth of ammunition. And we're going to see exactly what that comes to. How many shots we're going to be able to have. Because this is the thing, we got to think about per shot. So we're going to have 325 shots. Right? That's okay. That's alright. 325 shots, that's okay. Especially for lobby equipment, that's alright. Okay? But. But, and here's the but. What am I going to hunt? What am I going to hunt in these areas, right? I reckon if I was to be... If I wanted to be cautious, I would hunt these guys and maybe sweat them a little bit. You know? Sweat the... The coded turgs. I just call them cods. We sweat the cods. And then we kill them. And... You know, shit, even if we only get... only If we, if we kill about 100 of these guys, which... 300 shots, we can kill these guys in about 3 shots. If we can sweat 100 of them... We'll get about 1,600 bottles of sweat. That will then be able to sell. Maybe. The sweat market is pretty fucking stupid at the moment. It is really bad. It is really, really fucking bad. Like, stupid bad. Or, I can go up and I can hunt the diapers. They tend to loot a little bit better. I'm not entirely sure why, but they tend to loot better. So I'm going to say, for this hunting session, we're going to go up and we're going to hunt the diapers. Right, we're going to go up and hunt the diapers. And we're going to see if we do okay. Now keeping in mind, this is not going to be the, the sort of hunts that I do all the time. I'm going to be doing like 25 PED, 30 PED hunts at the moment. Once I'm a little bit more better financially and stuff like that, I'll probably do like better hunts. Or if I just have better equipment, I'll be hunting bigger things and uh, doing a good amount of damage, hopefully. So, for now, though, <coughs> we're going to see... Sorry, I've got... I had to cough. Ah, not nice. We're going to see exactly what sort of stuff we can get back from these guys. I'm not expecting much. Neither should you. These low-level guys... You know, they don't give a lot in variety, and when you're hunting, loot variety is key. Because certain loots are going to have a higher marker. Okay? Certain loots will have a higher marker. Which equals just more money if you save up and sell them. Right? Say I was to, you know do these uh, seven PED hunts or whatever on a weekend, right? Say I only played on a weekend. Say I was a weekend warrior when it came to Entropia. But I still deposited and, like, increased uh, my, uh, I guess, my capital or whatever. If I was to hunt something with a little bit more variety and get a bunch of different loots, and I was able to, like, just keep doing that every week. Eventually, I might actually be able to turn a profit from the markup. But, that's not how it works. That's not generally how it works. Um, generally, you take a loss. You kind of break even when it comes to your skills. And your skills will eventually allow you to hunt bigger things. But, uh, for the most part, you're probably going to take a loss. And that's just a product of the game. That is just a product of a real cash economy sort of game. There are ways to offset losses in the early stages. Things like sweating and finding fruit. But 
when you go after like the bigger stuff, the only real way to offset loss or only real way to um yeah the only real way to offset a loss and possibly even not need to pay for the hunt itself is to have a lot of capital and a lot of capital costs a lot of capital capital costs capital guys if you have the money to throw into the game more power to you you know but if you're you know if you're not able to, you're going to be a little bit tight, right? That's why, for me, being able to increase these Arcadia Underground Deeds are going to be you know, essential. They're going to be essential. And I figured if I can get about five of them a week, you know, I'll be able to increase it by, you know, 25 a month. Which isn't that much in the grand scheme of things. But in four months, I'll be bringing in double. You know? I'll be bringing in double. And that always helps. It always helps to be able to bring in double. But I have a feeling I'll be able to get a lot more than five in a week. Especially if I do things like surveys to make some money and then throw it into the game. Which I could easily do. I could easily do that and make some more. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know exactly like how long my endeavors are going to take. My, my goal, my goal is to get to, if I could be, if I can be getting like, I don't know, like five PED a day from the Arcadia Underground Deeds, that'll be fine. I'll be happy with that. Because by the end of the week, I would have, what was it? 25, 30, 35, 35 PED. And that, that will help offset a lot of losses. Which at the end of the day is what you want. You want to be able to... Ooh, that was a good drop. That was a good drop. 1 PED 27. That was a good drop. For these low level mobs. That was a good drop. At the end of the day, the reason why we get these deeds... Yeah, to make a little bit of capital. Make a little bit of money, maybe. But it's mainly to offset a loss. Right? It is to offset a loss. Or even to play for free eventually because you got to remember a lot of the stuff that you put in you'll eventually be able to get that out you know like if you put like a thousand dollars into the game as long as you don't spend it on stupid shit you'll eventually be able to pull that you might you should be able to pull close to that out of the game as long as you're not spending the money on stupid shit see what i do is i buy packs of ammunition and with those packs of ammunition i then uh, go out and hunt to get my skills up and I just cycle through the shrapnel over and over and over again Sometimes I'm able to get far more bang for my buck and Sometimes I even break even after cycling through the shrapnel a shitload of times just from uh, being able to Get a variety of different loots So that's what I do it helps get my skill up but I also get the PED needed to um, purchase the uh, the deeds. So that's how I do it. I don't waste it on crap. I don't just burn through all the PED hunting and then end up with nothing. If I deposit, I need to deposit with the sheer intention of being able to get deeds. That is what I deposit for. If I was to just get the PED, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to play much. If I just get the PED off of the store, if I just deposit for the PED, I'm not gonna be able to, you know, get much out of that. However, if I get the ammunition, I'm at least able to hunt for a while and I'm able to make back that. Like I'm, I'm able to enjoy myself and then at the end of the day or whatever get some land area deeds or at the end of the week get some land area deeds that's how I like to do it and we gotta remember the reason why we're getting those deeds like I've said a couple of times now it is to offset the losses that we make if we make a loss right let's say um, 
let's say you decide, okay, I'm going to do one hunt a day. Just one hunt with whatever I'm able to bring in. One hunt, and then the rest of the time I'm going to look for fruit. Or I'm going to sweat. I recommend looking for fruit, but, um... You know, sweating can, sweating can be a little bit easier as well. So say you're like, okay, I'm going to do a hunt, and then I'm just going to sweat the rest of the day. Or shit, even, I'm going to do a hunt, and then I'm going to um, do surveys for the rest of the day. You know, on a survey site or whatever. If you were to, if you find a way to offset your losses early on, then it might not be that big of a deal. Right? So... For me, once I get to that 5 PED a day, that's going to be sort of like my bread and butter initially. Once I've got like 500 Arcadia Underground Deeds, which is going to take a fucking long time. Long ass time. Depending on how aggressive I want to go with the spending. It really depends. Oh, that was a good drop. Uh... 35 cent in shrapnel and one PED in animal muscle oil. That's good. We might actually turn a profit in this run, which is good. So, once I eventually get to the five PED a day, huh, look at that. One PED drop, one PED three cent. That is cool. Mind Arc is loving me at the moment for some fucking reason. Maybe it's just the fact that I've come at a good time. I don't know. But, Say, you know, once I do hit that um, 500 Arcadia Underground Deeds, making that 5 PED a day, <coughs> on the good days, I'll get 10. If I was to keep it at just, like, okay, I'm going to do, my hunt will be 5 PED, and then I'm going to go and sweat, or I'm going to look for fruit, or I'm going to, I don't know, do something else. Even if I make a loss... I might be able to make that back from getting fruit or sweating or whatever. And if I get extra, I put that shit into storage and I save that shit up, right? You save that shit up. So you'll still be getting some skills each day. So your skills will be working up. But if you make a little bit extra, even if you don't make back the full amount of the 5 PED or whatever, even if I don't make back the full 5 PED, I'm still going to put whatever is left over, PED wise, into the storage. That way I can save it up, you know? Save up my bickies, have a bit of fun, enjoy myself, all that stuff. And then hopefully, later on down the line, once I've saved up a little bit, I'll be able to do like a bigger hunt, you know? Be able to do a bigger hunt. Say at the end of the week, I decide, oh, I'm going to do a 25 PED hunt. And I've got the 25 PED there. It's like, yeah, let's do a hunt. I'll be fine with that. You know, and at that point I might not need to deposit anymore. I probably still will. But I might not have to. If I didn't want to. I'll still be able to play the game and enjoy it. Because I don't mind doing these shorter hunts. And then going off and doing other stuff. Right? But. The problem with the short hunts. The, the small hunts. You're not gonna get that many shots or well, you're not you're not okay you're gonna get enough shots you're not gonna be able to hunt the slot the bigger mobs right it's just not gonna fucking happen not gonna happen like uh if i get five ped a day i get was it like fifty thousand ammunition i'm probably only gonna be able to get like if I was to use like an LR20 or LR25, whatever, if I was to use an LR20, I would get 50 shots. Only 50 shots from 5 PED. I could hunt a few things, maybe, or I could do a speed hunt, but I'm not going to be able to do much when it comes to that. So. Short-term goal in Entropia. Get to the, the 500 Arcadia Underground Deeds. Actually, right now it's get to 100. And then after that, it'll be get to 500. And that is the short-term Arcadia Underground thingy. That is my short-term goal when it comes to Entropia Universe. Get to that. 
and have a little bit of money each day to play, to spend, or shit, even just save that stuff up and uh, go to town on it. I don't know. But that is my goal. And that is like my my short term goal. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be working man. I'm gonna be like you know doing some of those online surveys, getting that PayPal money. <laughs> you know? Throw that into the game. Or you know if I have extra left over and we don't have anything you know, any major bills or anything that we have to deal with, I might put in some money each week. I don't know. I just don't know. But, it'll all happen eventually. It'll either be fast or slow, depending on how I want to do it. Sounded a bit too kinky for my liking. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm a dirty fucker. But don't tell anyone I said that. Because, you know, it's not like we're on the internet or anything. Now, this hunt is almost done. And this file size is fucking massive. For a video, anyway, it's like 17 gig. It's going to be about 17 gigabytes. Which is fucking big for... It is quite big for the... Uh, for a video. But that's alright. I'll upload it, then delete it. Because, kinda have to. I reckon we could probably kill two more. And then we'll call it quitsies. Uh, we'll kill this guy. One more, one more. Now we'll call it quitsies, because we definitely cannot kill anything. Oh, that's not bad. I'm glad. Let's see. Well, we already made stuff back here, so that's good. We already made back... Uh, we already made a profit. That's always good. And we actually made a 2 PED profit off of this hunt. So that is quite nice. I do got to say, that is quite nice. So what I could do, if I really, really wanted to, what I could do is I could sell that stuff, put the excess into my storage, and just keep that 7 PED. And tomorrow, do another 7 PED hunt. You know, do a pauper hunt. A poor man's hunt. I could do that. And... You know, depending on how well things turn out. If I was to do one of those hunts a day. Hmm. I'm only getting a, I'm only getting 92 pack though. Sometimes 102 or 1 PED whatever. Sometimes. Depending on whether or not the moon deed pays out. Yeah. So I guess that's what you could do with, you know, 7 PD a week. But if you're going to be playing like every day, maybe do one. If I'm going to be playing every day, I think maybe I should do like one hunt. Then. Do something else. Save up that money. You know? Could do that. Let's just be 100% sure on what we've got here. Yeah? We, we almost doubled. Well, didn't almost double. We, we almost... I was thinking about a 5 PD hunt. Never mind. Uh, we got back... 2 and a quarter PD. 2 and a quarter PD. That's what we got back. Extra. Cool. I am I am well happy with that. Do I want to sell those? Mmm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because this small amount, not worth holding on to. So, if you guys enjoyed that, 
you know, little thing. And if you guys have your own, like, if you guys have your own goals in mind for Entropia Universe, let me know. Because I am incredibly curious as to, like, what you guys are doing. Like, are you guys planning on uh, building up some kind of ped flow? Are you planning on uh, pulling out soon? Or are you planning on just investing in your skills and just using whatever cash you've got at home or whatever from your job, just playing that and not worrying about, like, getting deeds? Let me know what you guys are doing because I'm very curious about what people do in the community. And, uh, yeah. If you enjoyed, subscribe. I'm trying to hit, I'm trying to hit that. You know, I'm trying to get to that initial goal of maybe 50 to 100 subscribers, and then, you know, eventually rack up to that 1,000 subscriber. I don't think it's going to happen, but you never know. We'll see what happens. All right, I've rambled long enough. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, maybe comment, tell me what you're doing, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.